What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast, and we are back with Uncle Shay Shay as he has struck lightning again with this dynamic duo of him and Ocho Cinco joining together to collaborate on a new business venture called The Nightcap, which will be under the volume and also produced under Club Shay Shay. But before we continue to elaborate on this new successful endeavor of uh, Shannon Sharp, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the latest when I drop my sports media takes. Now, Uncle Shay Shay strikes lightning again as this guy has completely revamped himself and clearly came back for blood as he was laid off way too long because he has been sitting around plotting and making moves in the background that we did not see coming. Now, it says that, uh, you know, this nightcap show is going to be under the club Shay Shay and also under the, under the volume. Uh, and this is a joint effort, right? So I want to talk about the importance of this and why Shannon Sharp is a genius for this. Because if you guys think about business one-on-one, if you have a business and you can create multiple businesses under one LLC, one umbrella, then you're winning. Prime example for those who don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to a massive church, right? If you go to a massive church on Sunday, you can literally use one side of a building for after school care, and you can use another side of the building for daycare. You see what I'm saying? So you're getting money in three ways under one name. And it's very smart for Shannon Sharp to be able to, to do this because think about Club Shay Shay, which generates millions of views, millions of subscribers, and to go under that same business venue and uh you know come up with a new show called nightcap with unk and ocho that's nothing that's nothing and very genius because all you do is pretty much just air a series this is all it is it's a series under club shay shay where i'm quite sure ocho zinco is going to get a percentage off of the ratings and views very very smart on shannon shard's behalf and i'm gonna tell you guys what i like about this more the fact that these brothers are coming together and Shannon Sharp realizing his worth. I am very, very happy to see that this guy stopped being a kiss ass to Skip Bayless, stopped buck dancing on TV and completely embarrassing himself because he didn't realize his worth. And not saying that, you know, he doesn't realize his worth ever or did not. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes as a minority, we are put into position by another race and we have we feel like we're obligated to kiss ass or you know turn down our greatness because we should be thankful for the opportunity in the first place no 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 no. this is a new world we live in where pretty much black people are realizing that you know what a lot of people do make money off of us right why do you think skip Bayless was so mad that this guy was quitting out of the blue because this guy is gold and he knows more than anything to, for a white man to make money off of a black man, you have to use his face, his voice, his stigma, and also just the cultural uh, lifestyle that's intact with it. Like this guy, Shannon Sharp, is a genius because this guy can literally pull guys from the barbershop, which is like barbershop talk anyway, uh, you know, and just pretty much go and make a show, a spinoff show about how we talk offline. You see what I'm saying? And most people who have the pockets to invest in brothers like Shannon Sharp are going to do it. It's no coincidence that Colin Coward used this opportunity to move uh, Club Shay Shay from Fox Sports to the volume. You see what I'm saying? Because Colin Coward is very smart. This, I'm trying to tell you guys, I watch this guy's show and I don't just watch it because of his sports take. I watch it because this guy is educated, his hustle, his drive. I think this guy has like over 70 businesses and he don't even let you know all of his stuff. He just slips up and talk about it. I remember one time he was talking about how he has, he has like a few wine stores, uh, land all across the world. This guy is loaded with cash, but he acts the same every day. He doesn't live beyond his means. Uh, and he doesn't really brag or boast about the things that he does. But if you listen to Colin Coward, he will show you the way. And I'm quite sure he has dropped gems into Shannon Sharp's ear that is loud, that is allowing Shannon Sharp to realize like, whoa, hey, wait a minute. You mean I can do this and this under the same name and make profit, double my profit and teach Ocho Cinco the same thing? It's just like a pyramid scheme. It's very, very smart. 
That's why I applaud Colin Coward. And I knew once uh, Shannon Sharp joined him that things were going to change because he stopped kissing ass and realized his worth. He had to leave Skip Bayless because he was losing. Not Skip Bayless. He was. And I know that right now Skip Bayless, oh, I know he hates to see this shit here because Shannon Sharp continues to shine. And nothing hurts worse when you are failing and your ex is winning. I don't care who you are. You can try to say you don't care. It matters because we all want to be better than our next situation, right? And clearly Undisputed is not the same without Shannon Sharp. Here, and I'm going to tell you another thing why this is smart. Think about this, guys. Shannon Sharp is supposed to be on first take two days out of the week. From what I read, it says that uh, this this show will have will air three to four times a week, I believe. That's very smart. He's pretty much putting himself in place to continue to make the profit off the three days that he will be missing uh, off on first take. Because if he's just doing Monday and Tuesday, you got three more days out of the week. That's pretty much a five-day schedule, what you were doing anyway when you were undisputed so think about that calculated move this brother uh has came up with i mean he won there's no other way to say it he won and he's doing his thing but i don't get into the report here where you know they seem to be talking about this it says shannon sharp and chad johnson will host a new evening show co-produced by the volume in shay shay media told you guys very smart the big lead has learned Nightcap with Unk and Ocho debut Sunday night after the after the conclusion of the day's football slate and will air regularly three times per week. Now, that's what I meant when I say like he's going to make up the three days he's not off. He's not on the show three times per week. That's pretty smart. You're pretty much filling in spaces that need to be filled by any means necessary. Go ahead, brother. Get your roll on. I don't blame you. And uh it says here sharp who bought his podcast to the volume which i keep telling you guys is also jointly producing new programming with colin coward which is very smart for colin coward because this guy continues to invest his money into the right people draymond green who's a huge media mouth shannon sharp huge media mouth richard sherman huge media mouth think about this now he's very meticulous with the way that he moves so Says here, Nightcap with Unk and Ocho marks the first such project. He continues to expand his portfolio, which also includes teaming up with Stephen A on first take. What Shannon Sharp is doing is taking advantage of, it all, of all the momentum he has and all the su support he has from leaving Skip Bayless Dracula looking ass, right? So think about it. He's capitalizing off of all of his fans right now because everybody's going to tune in and watch uh shannon sharp right now because of the support they felt like he was done wrong he was spit on by a white man metaphorically speaking uh and he wasn't standing his ground and it's just good to see a brother realize his worth and continue to go into business with other men who can bring him more profit right uh it says here ocho and i have had many debates off camera throughout the years, Sharp said. We've decided to bring those on camera with a nightcap. Looking forward to debating my good friend Chad Ochocinco, which is going to make things so great because everybody knows that Chad's, Chad Ochocinco is just an off script guy. Like, this guy doesn't care what comes out of his mouth. He's very organic and uh, he doesn't uh, bite his tongue at all. And the things he say, you just literally like, you like laugh at it before you even think about it because he, he's so off the wall off the script and he's always been that way his whole entire career so it makes good for tv you see what i'm saying when i say like the culture is what sells you see all these koreans you see all these uh caucasian men and women they invest into our product as black people because our culture is just it's appealing to the eye that's why they have to create shows like love and hip-hop and all these other shows because to be honest and, and it's embarrassing at times because not all of us act a certain way but it's just good for revenue i'm sorry to say it that way it is what it is and if you guys are very spiritual you guys know i'm telling the truth i'm just telling the truth we make good tv skip bayless knows that that's why he has to have a black face with him you see what i mean because he know a bunch of white men talking about black men and where we from and how we roll it would not sell it's just not appealing at all you have to have some type of cousin in the backyard barbershop type of attitude on your show because at the end of the day that's what people relate to and not to mention we talk about a lot of sports that are predominantly black so it goes here to say that ocho oh excuse me 
Uh, when Unk called me about the idea of expanding Club Shay Shay, I thought to myself, this is no brainer. Johnson said, we go together like, <laughs> see, see what I mean, man? Look at this. We go together like a McDonald's number one with Coke. No ice. Hits every time. <laughs> see what I mean? Like this man says things that you don't see coming. Now here I am thinking I'm about to read something heartfelt and he, this man talking about McDonald's, but that's just the type of personality that Chad Ochocinco Johnson has, man. And it says, I'm extremely excited to join Club Shay Shay in the volume on this new venture. Now, what's also going to happen is Shannon Sharp's going to teach him the same thing. He's going to say, hey, this is what you need to do. And if you do this, get a nice strong team under you, just like what Colin Coward is doing with all of the people that are working with him under the volume. It's the same blueprint, same blueprint. Hats off to uh, Shannon Sharp out here doing major things out here. You guys let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this new show. Are you guys looking forward to it? I might tune in and watch a few episodes myself just because I'm a huge Ocho Cinco fan. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like always, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let me know how you charge the game. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,